Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the CSRNet 2019. In this lecture, we will see how you can solve the probability and statistics question within a few minutes with the shortcut fix. Myself, Dr. Garg. So look at that, how you can solve the first question. We will discuss the eight to nine questions are there with all the shortcut tricks. So if you read the box clearly, what is the meaning of the given that? That means the conditional probability. So I already discussed several times, whenever there is a conditional probability, you have to start with the Bayes theorem. So what is the Bayes theorem is? Now there are the three urns. What is the probability of selecting the first urn? Since they are chosen at random, so the probability is my one by three. Similarly for the second and similarly for the third are there. Now, which ball you want to pick is black color. So what is the probability of picking the black ball from the first bag? So since there are the three black ball, two white balls, so total probability is by three by five. Similarly from the second bag, it's my two by five. From the third bag, it's my five by 10. Now rest, part, rest of the thing is nothing. You have to simply multiply this by this. So it will be uh, three by 15. Multiply this, it's a two by 15 and it is my five by 30. So what is that total is? You can simply add them. So what is the addition of this? Five by 13, two by 15 plus five by 30. So it's a five by 13 plus five by 30. So 30 is the LCM. So it's a 10 plus five. So it's a one by two. So what is the right answer of this? You want on from the second. So what is the probability of the second is two by 15 divided by the total answer is there. So what is that? This is is the right answer of this problem. So this is the shortcut. You can simply draw this figure and, and try to compute it. Look at the second question out there, which is related to the Markov chain and your target is to find the expected return time to the zero. All of you know that if you, if you don't know, just uh, take care of this, my tips for you, or you can say remark, whenever they are asking about the ret uh, expected return, it is nothing but my st uh, stationary probability, reciprocal of the stationary probability. How many states are there? Since there are the two states, zero and one, Okay. And your target is to find these two stationary probability and answer of this is at the point zero. So whatever the answer of this is the reciprocal of it. Now how you can find the stationary probability? You all know that it's a pi of this is here or you can say it's a P of V is this. But there is no need to solve them. Whenever there is a two cross two and you can see the sum of them in the row wise one, you can always pick about these diagonal entries, always this diagonal entries. The first element is zero state and this. So what is that? I can take this and here. This is corresponding to zero. This is one. So what is the stationary probability of this is zero divided by the sum of them. So it is my five by six. What is that? It is my three by five and corresponding to this will be one by three divided by the total. It's five by six. It is my two by five. So what is the answer of this is my, what is the answer of this is my three by five. So what is the answer of this? This is five by three. So this is the typing error. This is the five by three is the right answer of this problem. Look at the another one is there. So if you have the X and Y are the two random variables, which one is the condition satisfy? You can see this the almost convergence in probability. So it means you have to think about this weak law of the large number. You have to think about this strong law of the large number you have to converse in the probability. There is a convergence in the probability and so on. That's again very simple. There is no need to remember that. Just remember this flow chart. You have to remember this. So if you look about that, if X converges to this almost surely, that means here, Y converges also here, then it will. So this convergence means this is in probability. This means this is the distribution. So it means this is my true statement. And I also need a correct statement. If Xn converges X in probability like here, Yn converges to probability uh, almost surely like here, it means it is also converges in this, then some of them will converges in the probability implies distribution. So this is also the correct statement. Xn converges in probability means here, Yn converges to means here, then some of them will also converges to the probability in distribution like here. So this is also the right. Xn converges to the distribution, it means you are here, Yn converges to here, then the sum of them, so it goes to where, it is not mentioned here, so it will not go, converge to the distribution, so it means this is the false statement. So the right answer is my one, two, and three are there. So you can see that these are the simple shortcut tricks for you. 
you can see another one is there so if you look about the questions they are the simple unbiased estimator when you can say this capital T is the unbiased as estimator of the alpha it means when you calculate the expected value of this if it goes to the alpha then you can say it's the unbiased otherwise not be so what is our target our target is to compute the expected value of this and if it is theta then it is un it is unbiased what is given to you they are iid and they have the mean of this each of the xi has this variance of the xi is my theta square so what is that and from here can you find the value of the xi square you can easily find that this is nothing but my here because variance of the x is e of x square minus e x whole square now we can start from here what is the expected value of this 1 by 6 is outside what is the expected value of this is my theta so this plus this plus this is my 6 of theta so if you cancel out it goes to the theta it means this is the correct option look about this one is 1 by 14 is outside what is that theta square is this is my 2 of this since each of them are iid so it is also be here so it is my 8 and this is my 9 to your 18 r here so is it b a goes no you can see that this is not goes to the theta scale because it can never be a one it means this option is not true look about the another one is here so what is that one by two is outside it is two times theta plus the two times of the theta scale so it will be here can it be this one yes so this is also the right answer similarly you can see about this one so if you multiply them what will happen this is my here so what is the expected value of this the expected value of this is my theta half is outside so x square is my two times of the theta square so it will be this one so is it true yes so it means they are also true so one three and four are the correct answers look at the another one is there now here is the consistent estimator so when you can say this is the uh, of say alpha consistent estimator when there are the two condition need to be satisfied one is expected value of this goes to the alpha as n approaches infinity and variance of this goes to the zero as n approaches infinity now again this is given to zero they are iid variance is given to be here so can you find e of xi square this is nothing but here so you can start from the first one b so if i open this bracket what is the meaning of that this is x square 2i minus 1 plus x here minus of 2ab so if i apply the expected value on here so what is that this is the sum of expected value of the xi square that's a sigma square this is sigma square since they are the iid so it's a independent so what is the rule for the independent are there this is e of x e of y since expected values are zero so it is a zero so what is that this will be my two sigma square n upon n so it's, it can never goes to the sigma square because it's due to the factor two it means the first condition not satisfied it will not be there look about the next case what is that this is nothing but my x square this is my constant value minus of 2 x bar of x i what is that this is x bar what is the mean of the x bar is 0 so it will be 0 this is 0 what is that this is my sigma square and summation of the sigma square is n sigma square upon n it goes to the sigma square that is the right answer variance will automatically goes to the 0 because it's a 1 by n square it as n approaches infinity 0 same for here you can see both are the same thing because once you can compute them it's a sigma square n times sigma square it also the right answer look about this one is when you take here and one by n is outside if you solve this by here then it will be n sigma square now it goes to the it goes to the sigma square as n approaches infinity why because you can see this value goes to the one as n approaches infinity so the right answer is two three and four look at the another question are there so if this is there so you can see this is nothing but so the functioning still is fp is the probability that the system will functioning them how you can find the probability of the functioning when it will function it means they are in the parallel or you can say this is the union that is that if i call a this is b and c so it means one minus a and these are in the uh, they are in the end operation both should be working so what is there here now what is that this p is the probability of the failure now this is the probability of the 
survival. So what is that? How you can see if probability of failure is p, what is the probability of the survival is 1 minus p for the each. So I can substitute here 1 minus p is nothing but p. This is 1 minus p of whole square. So if you open this bracket, what will happen? This is nothing but my p and 2 minus of p. 1 minus p square of 2 minus p. Now we can uh, start with the options. Half. If you substitute the value of half, it will be 1 by 4. 2 minus half is my 3 by 2. So it will be my 3 by 8, 5 by 8. The right answer is there. So this option is cancelled out. 1 by 3, if you substitute 1 by 3, it's a 1 by 9. 3, uh, 2 minus 1 by 3. So 6 minus 1, 5 by 3. So that will be 27 minus 5 by 27. 22 by 27. That option is also correct. 1 by 4. 1 minus 1 by 16. 8 minus 1, 7 by 4. So it's a 64 minus 7 by 64. That is not the right answer. So the 1 and the third are the correct options. Look at the another questions are there. So if you have last question is there. If you have the independent random variables, x and y are independent random variables. Which of the following statements are correct? Clearly sees that this is not the correct. Why? Because all of you know that what is the probability of this when A and B are independent. This is nothing but my probability of A, probability of B. So this option is cancelled out. This option is correct. This is my A, this is my B, this is probability of A, probability of B for all are there. So this is true. If x and y are independent, so x follows this, y follows this, then the variance of the x plus y. So how you can open this one? This is nothing but if x and y are independent, then I can write like this way. Otherwise, you have to write in the covariance. What is the variance of the x? This is nothing but my 1. Variance of the y is nothing but my 2. So what is that? This is a variance of this is my 3. It also the right answer. So these two options are correct. Look what the first one is. Now, if you open this bracket cos a plus b, that is a cos of a, cos of b minus sine of a, sine of b. Now, since this expected value, now you can apply what is the expected value. Now, you can see these are the products. So, what is the expected value of the x, y? When they are independent, it can be written as e x of e y. So, I can write this as e of cos x, y, e of cos u, y minus e of sine tx e of this this is also the correct option so the right answers are 1 2 and 4 are the correct options so these are the way you can solve uh, such kind of the probability question in very simple shortcut tricks are there you can see within a 10 minutes we have solved 8 to 9 questions in this video we will see some more questions on the probability instead in our next class till then you can simply subscribe this channel share this video with your friend best of luck students